So at the School of Life, we're really interested in emotional health and emotional well-being. And on this channel, you'll have seen loads of films around how to live wisely, how to approach the challenges of uh, everyday life. Now, there's one person, when we set up the School of Life, there was always one person at the back of my mind. He's my hero. He's, I've met lots of people in my life, but there's really only one that I'm desperate and longing to meet. And I've been telling all my friends for years that there's one man who actually lives in the same city as I live in, in London, same part of London even, um, that I want to meet more than any other. Because what he's done is what we're trying to do with the School of Life. He's taken a subject which is quite arcane, which is seen only for specialists, and which is actually absolutely vital to well-being, and he's made it for everybody. He's got everybody enthused and interested. Um, and that man is Jamie Oliver. And it's properly thrilling that today I'm going to be cooking and eating and chatting with uh, my hero, Jamie Oliver. And he's so important because what he's doing is what we want to do. He's democratising something that's absolutely essential to a good life. So here is my hero, Yay! Mr Oliver. Mate, that was the most <laughs> incredible <laughs> intro. I wasn't expecting that. The thing is that it's all true. Genuinely, I, what you've done is astonishing. Well, I've got and goosebumps now. I'm yeah. not sure I'm worthy of that. Of course but now, you are. I better cook some blimmin' good food now. <laughs> you've done everything. You've convinced me you can do nothing wrong. Thank you. So, Jamie, the thing I really want to talk to you about is how, because we're all about well-being and mental health, is there a kind of food that will keep your mind fresh, active, and, you know, keep things in perspective? That's the challenge. Your body is basically like a loofah, right? There's little kind of caverns and pockets where it's just sucking up all the things that it needs. Some things it needs every day, some things it can hold on to and keep over reserves for weeks and months. I can show you foods that are really rich and great sources of things that particularly your brain likes. The more you mix it up and the more whole foods we mix up, the more chance you've got to be the very best we can be. The obsession by one thing that's going to make you clever or fast, I think we need to let go straight away. Yeah, I agree. It's like uh, in philosophy, people always say, what's the meaning of life? It's like, well, life is a, you know, made up of many, many rivers that flow into a central sea of meaning. It's not one thing, but it's funny. We, we live in a culture where people do expect one answer. Now, philosopher Epicurus, one of the great philosophers of the ancient world, said, the only things to um, feast on that you need to be a king, he said, are cheese and bread. It reminds us that human beings are not that complicated yeah. in the end. We just, you know, we need a few basic things and we, sometimes we think we're just machines that we can never understand. Some of these things are just simple routes to happiness. This is a collection of things that you like. This is just a, a, a map of happiness. Colours look great. It's just, it's health, isn't it? Shall I tell you what we're going to make? Please. Alla Pesto Tagliolini with his favourite artichokes. Alan, if you can just roll that lemon. And when you start to feel your hands slipping a little, that's yeah. the natural oils coming out. So we're going to go lemon zest, okay? Just a little. You, my bro, are going to put the basil in here. Okay. Grab the nuts and the cheese. We're not using Parmesan, we're using Swiss cheese. Why? Because he likes it. Waz this up. Full whack. Now we stop. So now pour in there. About five seconds of olive oil to start off with. Garlic goes in. Yep. And then we'll squeeze in the juice of a quarter of a lemon. Give it another little waz. We're such idiots for eating badly, aren't we? <laughs> well, this is what you teach this, us. What's beautiful about this is a tablespoon is all you need per portion. We're now going to add pasta. This is tagliolini straight into the pan, it's salted, okay? And we'll just give it a little move around and that'll break up. I'm gonna do an artichoke. So there we go. So much of it is inedible, and then the bit that isn't is just great. Divine. What I'm gonna do is slice them this thin. Oh really, that So thin. they cook wow. with wow. and in harmony ah. with the pasta. Okay. Wow. I'm in awe. Here is the artichoke and the tagliolini going in. Wow. Right, and we're gonna just toss it around. The water is going to emulsify with your Swiss cheese and it's going to be sucked up even more so with the pasta. We're getting there, we're getting there. This is how I'm going to cook in the future. I'm so converted. It smells divine, it looks amazing. This food has got good fats, it's got herbs, it's got the goodness of the nuts. And the answer is there isn't a golden bullet. And that's not necessarily a golden bullet, but love, care, attention will make you happy. Oh. Now, I stressfully wait over here for the verdict. Mm. 
What I'm loving is that all the different flavors are coming out. It's like listening to music and all the notes are clear, and yet it's coming together in a wonderful symphony. I mean, it, it really is. There's so many, it's like- Can I try some? Yeah, yeah. Having a varied diet, mm. real food, fresh food, is the best gift you can give to your mind, body, and soul, frankly. You know, it allowed us to, to forget that actually you can be happy on very little, and that this is the proof of it. And it's so simple. It's happiness is simple, right? With a little knowledge. So the question is, um, you gave me quite a tough brief. Yeah. Food to make your mind work better. Mm. Well, definitely elements in here will do that. But more than that, hopefully it makes you feel good. And there's goodness in there and now in you. So have I answered your brief? You've answered it more than brilliantly. Because I think what you've shown us is that happiness is possible on, first of all, a modest salary. And with people who are time short, you can rustle this up in minutes. Um, and it just, it's like the food of kings and queens um, that's available for everyone. So it's wonderfully and democratic. Um, and I think that's, you know, really very much what we're trying to do at the School of Life, which is to say there are all sorts of arcane ideas stuck away in the works of philosophers and great writers, etc. And normally people go, oh, you need tons of time and tons of money and tons of whatever in order to unlock them. Actually, they're available. You can rustle them up in your own life. And that's why I've been always so interested in Jamie and what he's up to, because he's democratising something very important, which is, you know, the food for your stomach. And we're trying to democratise the food for your mind. Um, you know, Jamie and his team have been so generous to us at the School of Life. Please um, uh, return the favour and go and visit um, Jamie's uh, Food Tube. It's a wonderful place. I've learned so much. Um, there are recipes on all sorts of things, and you'll find something that you love and um, learn to get your life in shape with some uh, truly fantastic recipes. So and thank some you, loads of other really passionate cooks uh, and chefs. Absolutely, from it's all not over just you. World, it's yeah. your team. It's yeah. your army, and it's brilliant. Thanks, guys. Lots of love. Thanks. We are making a kind of Mexican-ish breakfast. Lovely silky omelette with cheese, gorgeous chili, smashed avocado, and crispy little black beans. It's gonna be delicious. To help me, I've got a special guest. Up you come, John. Hey! Yes. How are you doing, John? Quilter? Really well, really well. Yeah. How are you? Are you enjoying the festival? It's been amazing, as usual. Can we just pound up 